So Donald Trump is walking along, living his life, and pursuing his life purpose as a successful businessman. Now, this is his heart, and it's what he's supposed to be doing with his life. Creating jobs, obviously, you know, being entrepreneurial, employment opportunities, etc. So that is his life purpose, and that is his heart-focused work. So he's walking along, do 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 and he's successful, right? So they bring money onto his path, okay? He's successful. This is his heart-focused work. It's what he's supposed to be doing with his life. They bring money onto his path. Now, I'm not going to say there weren't some missteps along the way, such as like Trump University and whatever. They're not showing me Trump University was his heart, but they are showing me like the creating jobs and, you know, creating opportunities for people and being an entrepreneur is his heart, okay? So bring money on his path and he's, he's successful, okay? And he's happy. He's happy, okay? It's, it's a good life, all right? Then one day he decides, I want to run for president. So he's continuing to walk along his path and what shows up? His ego. He wants more. He wants more. He wants power. He wants status. He wants title. And the problem is, is his decision to run for president was not from his heart. Business was from his heart. The decision to run for president? Ego. So his ego came onto the scene. Ego doesn't exist in the light, you guys. When I tune into the other side, when I tune into the light, the angelic realm, there is no ego. Ego causes a lot of problems for people. And ego interferes with truth. So Donald Trump was living his truth up here. He was very successful because of it. But when his ego came onto the scene, mm, okay, so he becomes president. And unfortunately, him becoming president was not what he was supposed to do. So that's supposed to be a flag there. Was not what he was supposed to do, okay? So unfortunately, his ego was the equivalent of the dark showing up onto his path to screw him up and lead him astray. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this good, this bad, this led him astray. His ego led him astray. Now, he was never supposed to be president, obviously, like, by the free will of other people, <laughs> namely the DNC, Hillary Clinton, um, Russian interference in the media. Our election had a lot of problems associated with it, where the divine is going so far as to say that that's not representative of human free will, because we were given a choice of dark versus dark. So... He was actually supposed to go up against Bernie Sanders, and Bernie Sanders was going to win. Um, that didn't happen, so he ended up winning. So, in Donald Trump's defense, he was actually never supposed to end up here. <laughs> he just did. So, because this happened, he's officially considered off path. So, what would I say if I was doing a psychic reading for Mr. Trump? I would say, dude, you gotta, you gotta embrace your truth, man, because. If you look at your heart and your soul as an individual, this is your truth. So if I was reading for him, I would say go back to your old life. You miss it. You're miserable. You're not happy. Um, your higher self is screaming, saying, I want my old life back. This is what I would tell you to do. I would actually tell you to step down. Now, in order to step down, you would need to move your ego aside. And in moving your ego aside, it would be a nice, pure, heart-focused decision. I want my old life back. And, by the way, it would be a decision based in self-love. Because you would be taking care of yourself and just wanting your old life back. And not caring what people think. So, obviously, you would be subject to some serious public scrutiny. And that, again, would be moving your ego aside. Because you would be putting aside the public scrutiny and still pursuing what is your truth. Which is right here. Okay? So this is happiness, this is sadness, because you're off path. This is not soul's fulfillment at all. 
And unfortunately, as a result of this, you have attracted darkness to yourself. Okay, I hope I don't get like emotional here. <laughs> this is like the total battle of light versus dark here, people. <sighs> Angels! <laughs> okay, sorry, I just, I can feel the law of attraction kicking in and because I'm thinking about it and talking about it, I'm attracting the universal energies associated with the situation and I don't like it. Okay, this is the battle of light versus dark, all right? I'm the light. I'm speaking for the light. I'm giving Donald a reading, connecting him to the light. And I'm saying, dude, you got to step down, man. You got you to go back to your old life. Okay. Because that's his truth. And that's what's going to make him happy. And that's going to put him back on path. Okay. The dark doesn't want this for Donald Trump. As an individual, the dark does not want Donald Trump to go back to his old life. So what are they going to do? They're going to try to feed his ego. In my little psychic reading for Donald Trump, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to try to convince him to move his ego aside in order to make a pure decision based in truth and light. The dark is going to come onto Donald's path and they're going to try to puff up his ego and make it bigger and make it stronger in order to keep him in this position because the dark wants him in that position. Now, how is the dark going to do that? They're going to bring a faith healer onto his path named Paula White. And Paula White is going to show up and she's going to use God and her preaching and her faith healing to puff the crap out of Donald Trump's ego. Now, why is this smart? Because Donald Trump is a narcissist. He already has an inflated ego. Just ask the 27 psychiatrists who just wrote a book about him. It's releasing October 3rd, by the way, on my birthday. So Paula White is actually giving him narcissistic supply. She is feeding into Donald Trump's narcissism. Now, Paula White, the faith healer, what is she saying? She is calling Donald Trump a biblical king saying that he was placed in this position by God. He was not. He was not placed in this position at all. It is not Donald Trump's life purpose to be president. If it's your life purpose to be president, then God put you there. <laughs> it's not Donald Trump's life purpose to be president at all, which is why he's off path. Um, so she's saying that, um, you know, Donald Trump is saved. Uh, actually, he's not saved because he's not aligned with truth right now. Um, She's saying that um, God wants you to live in compliance with Donald Trump. That's not true. Um, she's saying God chose Trump. God chose her. Be obedient and loyal to Trump. Um, God intervened in the U.S. election to put Trump in power. That's not true either. It's actually the opposite. So as you can see, Paula White is speaking for the dark. Um, she's got falsity, falsities coming out of her mouth left and right. Now, Paula, the problem is, is that if you're going to speak for God, you better make sure you're right. And from a logical standpoint, intuition aside, Polly, you need to think about what this means for you and your soul, if you're wrong. Um, because you are playing with fire as a channel of divine truth. I am just flat out telling you you're wrong. And you're not only a little bit wrong, you're really wrong. I'm not talking about someone running around saying the sky is green here. I need you to take me seriously because my life is actually in jeopardy as is yours and Donald's. So I'm not screwing around here. I just want to be clear. Um, I try to have a lighthearted brand and stuff. You know, like my tagline is we are all superheroes. I try to empower people because the victim mentality is the dark kicking in and dragging them down. So it's my job to empower people. But I just want to be clear. I'm as serious as a mother effing heart attack right now. Paula White, you need to shut the hell up. <laughs> And you need to shut the hell up right here, right now, unless you want to die. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. Because my life is in jeopardy, as is everybody else's. Why? Because Donald Trump's ego is preventing him from stepping down. You are feeding Donald Trump's ego. Donald Trump's ego, if Donald Trump stays in power, his ego actually ends up getting us blown up. A new kids, United States, and we end up 
getting blown up. Hole in the ozone, vegetation, agricultural problems galore. We die. So, Paula, when I tell you that you're speaking for the dark, it's not just a little bit. It's a lot. So, Miss White, I am here as a channel of absolute truth to challenge you. Are you willing to bet your life on the fact that you're correct? Because I am. I am willing to bet my life on the fact that I'm correct. Are you? Are you? Because I'm telling you you're wrong. So you don't just kill yourself and your friends and your family. You kill Donald Trump and the rest of us. So, just wanted to let you know, you are speaking for the dark. You are working for the dark. And as a matter of fact, based on the words coming out of your mouth, I know you're not in touch with your higher self, your intuition, the angelic realm at all whatsoever. Let's talk about the other things you say. You say that wealth is a sign of God's approval. Yep. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Wealth is a sign of God's approval. Why? The divine brought wealth onto Donald Trump's path because he was pursuing heart-focused work. He was working hard. He was putting in the effort, working hard. Pursuing effort, brought wealth onto his path. The divine likes people who pursue their life purpose. The divine likes people who share their God-given gifts and talents with society. And energetically, you attract financial abundance to yourself as a result of pursuing your heart. That's what the divine wants. But... The divine doesn't just bring money onto your path. For example, you run around saying, if people give money to me, you will get financial riches from God. Nope, that's not true at all. <laughs> that's not true at all. Nope. If everyone gives money to Paula White, they will get financial riches from God. No, because you're speaking for the dark. So why would they empower the dark? They wouldn't. What those people in your congregation should be doing is pursuing heart-focused work, finding out a way they can use their God-given gifts and talents to help society, and then the divine rewards them with financial abundance because he guides people to them that needs that product, that needs that service. The other higher self. That's the deal. That's what the divine wants. That's where the financial abundance is coming from. And that's your truth, your life purpose, your heart focused work is your truth. So you're aligning yourself with the truth and the light. Now, here's the thing. Your prosperity preaching that you, that you say where God doesn't want us you know, to go without, that's true. God wants us to have financial abundance via our heart focused work. But the problem is, is how are you motivating people in order to listen to God's word? How are you motivating people to become followers of God? You're dangling a dollar bill in front of their face. What's their motivation? Greed. Money. I love God because I want to get rich. God can see your soul. He can see your intentions. And by the way, if that is your intention, it's impure. I suggest you go find a more pure intention, such as, I don't know, loving your creator, maybe meditating and journaling and turning within and digging deep within your soul and deep within your heart to love your creator and love yourself because you're a spark of the divine. So by actually loving yourself, you're showing the divine love. So you're wrong there again too. I mean, I, I could list off like everything that you're wrong about with your preaching. So I would hate to stand in front of your congregation because do you know the people that you attracted to yourself? Greedy people who just want money. I don't want to stand up in front of them and talk because they just want money. I want to go off and attract a different audience who wants to sit there and be like, how can I help? How can I help society? How can I use my creativity or my law degree or my medical degree, whatever, my teaching you know, degree to help people? I'm a creative writer, whatever. How can I help people that way? And then I get rewarded with financial abundance later, whatever. But you are contributing to society. And the reason you get that financial abundance is because people genuinely need you. It's your heart. So, sorry, Paula. You're wrong there too. So, there is one thing that 
Um, okay, so, so sorry. One of the things I want to continue is with Donald Trump on his path. Now, I really did want him to step down. But of course, I saw him leaving his position. I saw him being embarrassed. So you either leave your position by moving your ego aside or you're forced to leave your position. But you do end up leaving that position um, because it is actually Bernie Sanders' life purpose to be president. So, Paula White, when you said God can raise up a leader to rescue his people, he actually does. God does raise up a leader to rescue his people. His name is Bernie Sanders. And Bernie Sanders is actually the one responsible for saving our lives. Because you're obviously trying to kill us right now by puffing up his ego. Um, so, that's the thing is... Uh, you keep calling Donald Trump a biblical king. So, Paula, I want you to keep your eyes on your biblical king and watch what happens to him because he does not have the support of the divine or universal energies in staying in that position. So, I'm actually going to prove to everybody that you're wrong. Um, unfortunately, you are going to have egg on your face. Sorry. But I'm saving everyone's life in the process. So, because you're speaking for the dark and I'm speaking for the light, you and I are directly going against each other. I'm just going to call a spade a spade here. Um, you're my enemy. <laughs> you're my enemy. Unless you decide to switch teams and finally speak for the light, uh, you're my enemy because I really don't want to die. I don't want my friends to die. I don't want my family to die. So you are my enemy. Um, I'm not mincing words here. I'm not mincing words here. Uh, Donald Trump's ego gets us blown up and you're feeding into that. So <laughs> I have no respect for you or what you're doing. Um, just the fact that you accept money from people, I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get rich if you give me money okay <laughs> great um yeah that's just no that's not right either <laughs> uh the divine doesn't approve of that either um so another thing is that uh aside from people using their intuition i want them to use logic and i want you to look around um based on what a lot of the evangelicals are saying is that this is what god wants for us and i want you to use your logical mind and look around is this what god wants for us does he want this DACA situation? No. Does he want an administration shining a light on all of our differences and separating us out from one another? I grew up in Los Angeles, which is a melting pot. I don't notice the difference between men and women, black and white, whatever. I don't notice the difference. I grew up in this melting pot. It doesn't even occur to me. But now I'm having it just constantly brought to my attention. You know, they're, they're taking your jobs away. They gotta go. Deport them. You know, like... They're doing this, they're doing that. Like, just pointing out the difference. Just, just shining a light on differences to separate us is just ridiculous. And that's one of the things that Divine was worried about was Donald Trump's separatist platform to begin with. I've been saying that for a long time now. So now it's in everyone's face. Um, you know, people are constantly fighting with each other now. We've got, what, like four hurricanes going on right now? Because the United States is an energetic match for crap. Fires, floods, hurricanes, you know, white supremacist rallies. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We're an energetic match for crap. This is not what the divine wants for us. It's not what the divine wants for us. And as a nation, we need to align ourselves with the truth and the light. And that includes having a second election and putting a president in there whose life purpose is to be president. So, um... That's the thing, is our free will was manipulated in the election in 2016, so the divine's asking for a second one. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to have a second election. Now, another sign I just want to show everybody is the law of attraction. When you are speaking falsities and coming from a place of ego and power, you are attracting darkness to yourself as a result. So Donald Trump is attracting perpetual darkness to himself right now. And the people who are supporting him are attracting darkness to themselves. So Paula White is attracting darkness to herself because she's supporting Donald Trump in his falsities and his separatist platform, which goes against divine intent. And on top of that, Mar-a-Lago supports Donald Trump because that is his escape. Now Mar-a-Lago is attracting darkness to itself. <laughs> Organizations are pulling out. I guess they have company functions there or whatever. Those companies are like pulling out, not having their functions there. So now Mar-a-Lago's attracting darkness to itself. Ivanka Trump attracts darkness to herself. Jared Kushner attracts darkness to herself. So anyone who supports Donald Trump is now an energetic match for the dark. So you're going to attract a bunch of crap to yourselves as a result of that. So that's another thing I want people to, um, you know, just pay close attention to is the law of attraction is everywhere. So where is that darkness going? That tells you who's aligned with the truth and the light. Where's that darkness going? Where's that darkness headed? 
that tells you right there. So that's why I want people to use a combination of their logical mind with their intuition. So Mr. Trump, I implore you to move your ego aside and go back to your old life, which is what you so desperately want to do. That is your truth. And I ask you to ignore Paula White because she's literally just blowing smoke up your butt. And to everyone else watching, take care and be well. Thank you.